guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is an exciting one. It's the Chamberlain coffee subscription mystery box thingy. This one is for spring 2024. So I bought this myself. I actually unboxed the last two as well, which I also bought myself. And yeah, I'll put a card here if you want to see the previous two boxes. Um, the quarterly, this one is from the end of March 2024. It cost me £72 in the UK with free delivery. In the US, I think it's a similar price point and they say it will be worth about £113 or dollars, depending on where you are. So in the video, I'm going to unbox the whole box. I will talk you through the products, let you know my thoughts, and I'll also tell you how much these products retail for individually, if you are like, interested in that, or if you want to go ahead and pick anything up. I do have a 30% off code, and I will put a link and code in the description box if you see anything that takes your fancy, or if you want to get anything else from the website. I'm pretty sure it won't work on the mystery box anyway, and the mystery box arrives and disappears very quickly on the website so who knows if you'll even be able to find this mystery box i might talk and you out of watching the video aren't i right i'm just gonna i'm gonna start unboxing it okay so the first item in here is actually a brand new launch for them so i was really excited to see it it's the jolly rabbit brown sugar blend coffee now the coffee bags that you get in here and it generally isn't all coffee but it is ground coffee so I use this in a cafetiere or a french press I think you call it if you're in the US. It can also be used in a drip machine or a pour over and there are the little pics on the back to show you how you could use it. So the tasting notes of this one are brown sugar, honey or molasses and it makes up to 15 cups of coffee. It's a medium roast ground, it's USDA organic and it is 340 gram or 12 ounce. Bizarrely, and I've said this before and I still don't know why, they put these little stickers on the bags and I don't really get why. An interesting observation, my sister lives in the US and I recently um, ordered a couple of bits to her house while I was over there on holiday um, from Chamberlain Coffee because it was something that they weren't selling in the UK at the time. Anyway, it didn't have the stickers on. So I'm guessing there's some reason why um, this is stuck on the UK for UK customers. Like I'm wondering if they use um, a terminology that wouldn't be accurate here. I don't know. Because this is on the front, naturally flavoured organic Arabica coffee. So it could be that maybe they're not allowed to use the terms organic or Arabica here. I, I can only guess that that's the reason. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. So this currently retails for $16 or £16, depending on where you are located. Um, so that's the first item. And so far in the two previous subscription boxes, everything I have had that has been like edible as in like coffee tea matcha etc has been delicious i am really enjoying it i mean 72 pounds is not an inexpensive subscription box luckily it's only quarterly i couldn't keep up with that kind of price monthly um but i really like it and i'm getting a lot of use out of it and i'm enjoying it when it comes so it's like why the devil not carry on okay so next up is chocolate matcha and i previously bought the chocolate matcha from them and i've actually been enjoying this recently and it is delightful so i have had this a couple of different ways i have had it just mixed with water as literally just a straight up matcha i've also had it as like a matcha latte where i've blended it with milk so you can have it a few different ways it is proper matcha they've just added cocoa to it so it's a nice um natural kind of cocoa taste as opposed to being like sugary there's no sugar or anything in it so it is healthy and it also tastes absolutely amazing really happy with that so this is just have the instructions on the box tin thing if you need the instructions um 30 gram or 1.06 ounce again everything is full sized and this retails for 25 dollars or 23 pounds in the uk but yeah absolutely love that Another item that is brand new and it is the Sweet Otter Cake Batter Blend, which sounds very, very nice. Again, we've got weird stickers stuck in weird places that don't even make sense. Like they've not covered this bit at the front, which is what they normally would cover about the Arabica coffee. They've covered up the USDA organic bit. Like it's, it's not even consistent. So I've no idea what's going on. Anyway, the tasting notes, it says it's a medium roast and the tasting notes are buttercream, frosting and vanilla. Well, it actually has, I've never noticed before, it actually has a caffeine strength on. It doesn't on this one, but it does on this one. So it's four out of five um, coffee beans. The country of origin is Nicaragua 
and it is 340 gram or 12 ounce again these are resealable as well so basically you just have a bit on the back here where you can like peel it to open it and then it reseals here to keep it nice and fresh better than birthday cake this full bodied roast sings with vanilla buttercream frosting and sprinkle flavors hmm. i'm now realizing this is whole bean and not ground i'm sure they're normally ground that isn't great because i don't actually have a um Blender? Not blender. Coffee grind? grind coffee grinder. Words escape me. So that's kind of annoying because either I have to buy one or not be able to use it. That's never happened before. I'm pretty sure it's an error. I may email them about that. So again, this retails for £16 or $16. Happy that it's a new blend that they've just recently sold, but kind of disappointed about that. I think that's an error, but we will see. So next up, we have got this little fella bubble wrap box can we guess what this might be yes it's kind of coffee related it's a candle an espresso candle it's just playing on the other side it's quite a strong espresso scent so i do really like this however this was included in the fall 2023 box which i find really really strange because obviously i got the fall box I imagine a lot of people did. So why would you then include it in the spring box when you know people have already received it? Like, why not at least make it a different scent? I don't know. I find that a little bit disappointing. So I'm not thrilled about that. If you didn't get the previous box or previous book one box, I'm sure you won't be bothered. But for me, I'm just like, really? Could you not have just sent me a different candle if you're going to go with the candle? So it's the espresso scented candle. And this retails for £30 or $28. We then have some citrus chamomile tea. This is £14 or $12. It comes in like little individual um, tea bags, individually wrapped, which I quite like because it makes them more portable. We've had these in a previous box again, like what are you doing to us? This arrived in the winter box, so literally the last box. So like what? These, like I said, retail for £14 or $12. You get 20 tea bags, so they're pretty expensive. Uh, USDA organic pyramid bags very lovely citrus chamomile quite a nice blend together but just come on you literally gave it us in the last quarter's box why why am I seeing it again we also have a item of kitchenware cupware we do generally get some type of cup which I love because I'm a bit obsessed I have far more cups than I'll ever use and I like buying them and yeah it's a mason jar so these would be particularly useful for like cold brew cold drinks that kind of thing that's what it's for it has got cherries all over I'm hoping you can see that pretty well and then you just screw off the lid to put your drink inside these are hand wash only and you don't get a straw with it you'd have to buy the straw separately which is kind of a shame it'd be nice if it came with a straw I do like the design but it kind of frustrates me that the hand wash only because I find it's a lot more difficult to get things really clean uh, when it's hand wash only versus a dishwasher which does a better job than I do I find. So this would usually be £14 or $16. It's made from glass as you might imagine and it's a 16 ounce size. It does say products is for use with cold beverages only. So it's quite useful for the matcha and stuff. Um, yeah but I couldn't see the exact cherry design on the website so I don't know if that's exclusive to the box or what it is but that's what we get. Ooh, and I didn't actually notice this. I had a quick peek in the box when it arrived. I didn't realise we actually get one of the green tote bags so standard kind of tote bag size with the long handles and there is just like a sticker on the back it says normal logo tote bag green awesome so a tote bag i like that i think that rounds things off nicely i just have questions like i said about the repeat items but anyway that is everything in our box this quarter. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you get this box? Are you tempted? Would you like the items that were included? Do let me know. Don't forget you can get 30% off your order on Chamberlain Coffee website if you would like to pick anything up. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.